I have a PhD in mining engineering. I also have a bachelor's degree in mining engineering. My background is, is explosives with mining. And the reason explosives are tied so closely to mining is because, you know, you look 90% of the explosives in the United States are used in mining applications. Demolition is just a very, very small portion of it. Well, you know, I wouldn't say I've had anything that was really, really uh, you know, life-threatening, dangerous or anything, but there are, there are things that happen, you know, in the course of your work where you're like, you know, maybe I was a little too complacent about that or I work with this stuff all the time and I really, sh I shouldn't have done that. Gosh, the consequences could have been really bad. You know, it's explosives and, and really that's one of the things I teach in my classes. No matter what you do, when you get out there, just remember what this stuff can do. It's very similar principles. Now, when you talk about having things fall in and everything, that's structurally what you're trying to make the structure do. But as far as blasting goes, it's the same principles because you're taking those structural components and you're removing those. So you're actually blowing those out as well. <laughs> cool, I gotta blow stuff up. I mean, that's period. That's all there is to it. I have, you know, explosives lab underground in Kentucky. I do blast mitigation research to find out if there are products that can protect structures from blast waves or, you know, I did a project on protecting Humvees. From the time I was a little kid, blowing stuff up is what I did.